Today we're gonna to make this fig and honey goat cheese board. A goat cheese board is a great and easy alternative to making a large charcuterie and meat board before your guests come over. So if you have a small amount of people coming over, this is perfect. So I have one log of goat cheese that I am, I left out so it's nice room temperature, easy to spread. You can use any kind of cutting board that you have, make sure it's clean. And we're gonna spread the goat cheese right on top of our cutting board. So with these cheese boards, especially goat cheese, you have a tangy cheese. So they pair really well with some fruit flavors or something sweet. So that's why I love to pair it with goat cheese or honey. You could do blackberries. You could do all different varieties of uh, different items that you can put with goat cheese. You could do prosciutto on top of this. You know, something that will make it, um, that goes really well with the goat cheese. So I'm spreading out our goat cheese here on our board. And now the fun part is to add our delicious toppings. So we've spread out our goat cheese. Now we're gonna add some toppings. I have fig preserve. Put some of that around. I also have some fresh figs that I'm gonna lay out. I'm all about the way it looks and the presentation. So I love these boards to do right before people come over. So I'm gonna put them in between here. And next we're gonna do some pistachio. Sprinkle these. I love honey with the goat cheese and the fig. So I'm gonna take this, drizzle the honey on top. My final touch is a little black pepper, which is gonna go so well with the honey. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. And you can serve this with some crackers or I have some toasted baguettes and this board is ready. For the full recipe, visit nikkiglekis.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Charcuterie boards have been the craze for the last year. We have been doing a ton of them for catering, but this new idea about doing boards right on to a cutting board. So you could do goat cheese, cream cheese, there's been butter boards, all different kinds of varieties. Today we're gonna make a cream cheese board. So less ingredients, it's more cost effective, but this is gonna be delicious for your next brunch. So we're gonna use room temperature cream cheese you can use any size board that you want. I have a small cutting board here. So we're gonna take our room temp cream cheese. We're gonna put a dollop here. And I'm just gonna spread it down all over the board. Of course, make sure your board is nice and clean because your guests are gonna be eating right off of this board. So we're gonna put that, the dollop, and kind of make a little pattern here. Cover this board and our cream cheese. And this is also great because you can make it ahead of time before people come over. And then that way you have it ready for everyone to enjoy. So the great thing about these boards is you can add whatever you want to the top of this. So for our cream cheese board here, we're gonna do some smoked salmon. I'm gonna Break apart the smoked salmon around the board. And we used a container of cream cheese and just one package of smoked salmon. So I don't even know if you need to use the entire package of smoked salmon, but you can gauge it by putting it around. Look at this board. This looks amazing already. Delicious. 
So we have our smoked salmon. Then I'm gonna add some red onion. Not a lot, I'm just gonna sprinkle this around. Next, we're gonna add some capers. Some chives for garnish. You could add dill, chives, some little parsley for garnish, anything you like. This board, it looks amazing. Add a little mimosa with this, and this is perfect for your next brunch. So right before serving, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil right on top. Perfect. And I'm gonna dig in. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. For making our butter board, I'm going to use this branded Mickey Glekis Collective cutting board. So your cutting board is really going to determine on how much butter you're going to use for this kind of boards that you're making. So for today, I'm doing two sticks of butter. And this is, I've left it out so it's nice and soft. So I'm just going to use a fork to kind of just soften it even more. And for today, we're going to do honey and paprika. So I'm gonna take two tablespoons of honey, nice and sweet. And we're gonna do two teaspoons of paprika. And I'm gonna combine these ingredients together. You could use a mixer as well. I'm just gonna use this by hand because it was pretty soft already. So our butter looks ready. We're gonna take this now with our spatula and we're gonna put it right on our board. So to serve this for the holidays, I'm gonna put on top of this some pomegranate seeds. Great for color and it gives it a little tang with your butter and a little bit of just some fresh thyme. And look at that, that board is ready and we're gonna serve this up with some baguette bread. Leave me a comment on what's your favorite boards to make. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.